I used the term resilient against Virginia, and uh, that term applies again, once again, to this basketball team. Uh, we got down, I think, 10 zip out of the gate, and we came storming back, and we built ourselves a lead. I thought we got tentative. We weren't very aggressive on the offensive end, uh, kind of looking for the clock to run out. They, on the flip side, were very aggressive, putting their head down and driving and trying to draw fouls and get to the line and get to the, get to the rim and get, have our guys get sucked in for a couple of drive and kick threes. And, and we, on the flip side, offensively got uh, non-aggressive. Uh, but that's something we can work on and fix. But our team's resilient. They battled. We got timely stops. And uh, we made it interesting all the way to the end. But um, you know, early on in the game, C.J. Harris was just outstanding. I think he scored 11 straight, uh, which uh, uh, really just brought us back into the ball game. And our transition, our fast breaking is, is you know, we had 23 fast break points. And uh, we knew if we can get stops, we, as always, uh, we're building this team here to run and, and run on makes and misses, and um, we did a really good job of that. Coach, Questions? Yes, sir. Coach, uh, staying with CJ, um, how important is it to just have someone like that who can just sort of pick everybody up when y'all are a little tentative, like you said? Um, just tell, tell me about that. Well, as I said, we're never going to refer to our players as freshmen. Um, <laughs> But CJ, with his experience, uh, really put us on our back, put the uh, rest of the team on his back and carried us through in that first half. And, and he, he did a great job and then gave our other players confidence. Um, did a great, great job. Um, I also want to thank our fans. I, once again, we've had a great, great crowd. And our fans were really into it. And, uh, and we appreciate their support. And, and uh, it really inspires our players, and I, I really see a connection beginning to t take place here, and that's a great thing. Could you talk about the job the other Thomas did on, on uh, the big guy, Ryan Anderson? Yeah, I mean, Ryan Anderson uh, is a player who's just, uh, I think he was leading the league in scoring, if he wasn't. Third, third, yeah, thank you. He was third, and he's been putting up some fantastic numbers, and Devin is uh, uh, physical and passionate and, uh, um, energetic and uh, very forceful down there. So, uh, you know, he really, he really canceled him out. I mean, Devin had 11 rebounds. Ryan Anderson, who's a heck of a player, had 10. And they really battled. They really competed. And you can see where that, that's going to continue on for many years to come here in the ACC. What about the effort he got from Aaron Rowntree? It looks like he definitely provided a ton of energy. One thing our, our team is understanding is that as they're, because they're growing and maturing and quickly. And one thing they're understanding is how important each possession is. Um, no matter how many minutes you play or whatever, each and every single possession is critical because so, these games all come down to the very end. So, um, you know, that, uh, Aaron did a really great job, got a big timely steal for us, actually had four steals in about seven minutes. Uh, you, your point guards, your two primary point guards, ended up with eight assists and one turnover. That's how really make you feel. Yeah, we're understanding, again, to piggyback on what I just commented on about each and every single possession. Um, they're learning the value of the basketball. We had 17 assists, so only 12 turnovers. Uh, we're doing a much better job uh, over the last eight or nine games in our turnover rate now. Um, our defense, uh, uh, our pick and roll defense was not very good. Uh, we changed the coverage a few times and uh, got a little lax because they were very aggressive putting their head down and going. And uh, that's something we got to do a better job of. But um, team's getting better and uh, we got a big week ahead of us. The foul on Travis where you're up by one and they have a possession to go ahead. What was your, what was your strategy there defensively? Well, at the end, you know, when we had, we had uh, the ball there in a one point lead. You know, I had the ball in CJ's hand, and I wanted Travis to get up there and run a pick and roll. And we had Devin down low, and we had the court spaced nicely, so I didn't see any need to call a timeout. We, we, you know, we had it set up the way we wanted to. Uh, it was just a uh, CJ needed to wait 
another count to allow Travis to get established. But, but after that? After that, well, yes. we needed to stop, guys. We needed to stop. <laughs> we were going to switch everything and, and make sure that uh, because we had players out there like Devin Thomas who, and, and Aaron and Travis who are big and active and long and athletic that we were just going to switch the pick and roll and just get down and got to guard, guys. We got to come up with a stop. And when the ball gets up on the rim, we got to go get it. You said you're trying to build this team uh, to run. Um, and I think that really showed with the way y'all were able to get, I think it's 23 to 4 in the fast break point category. How were y'all able to do such a good job of getting in transition? Well, the ball there? we believe in running and we practice it. We believe in it and we practice it. And we practice it every day. And, you know, for those of you who have seen our practices, there'll be times I'll, I'll just put, we'll scrimmage and I'll just put 12, 15 seconds on the shot clock and you need to manu manufacture a shot within that time. Now it gets a little ragged, but we're good in the open court. We are, and, and uh, uh, we work on running off makes and misses. Two tough wins in a row now. Um, how ready are you team for Tuesday night? Well, we're gonna get back to practicing tomorrow and um, We'll start preparing for Clemson. Um, they're a tough def defensive-minded team, and they have a couple of veteran players with some size, Jennings and Booker, that uh, you know, one likes to shoot from the outside, and the other one likes to bury himself down low. And um, they're very athletic, very quick. But um, you know, hey, it's, it's uh, we got to go in there with some some metal, so to speak, and play hard and play play well. Yeah, it means I can coach maybe Tuesday night or Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks. Players across the hall.